Hello, hello, and welcome to, uh, not Games Revisited, Coffee Craft, sorry. Uh, game, games Revisited is, uh, I gotta double check my schedule for what the weekend is. It might end up getting pushed back, because we're, we're kind of in a weird between seasons time. Uh, so don't be surprised if I do an extra Minecraft stream on Friday instead of the normal games revisited because we finished Crystallis last go round and um, I had to end up paying for a a new uh, blower assembly in my car which kind of precludes buying a new game and since Kingdom Hearts is now available uh, <laughs> uh, as a PC port I'm, I'm I'm sorely, sorely tempted to get, grab that and use that instead of trying, which was my original, original plan. Uh, best laid plans and all that. So, I don't know. If, uh, I, I'll figure it out. Uh, so, again, don't be surprised if Friday is another Coffee Craft stream or if it's uh, Battlefield again. Although, uh, as lag test, because Battlefield has been twice now, um, I might just have to wait until I can beef up the PC. So for today, my goal for the live stream today is to work on uh, getting up another potion brewing station because uh, I've been burning through these potions of slow falling and I, I need I need more. I hate doing this manually. Uh, it's not that it's that hard. It, it's just I really, 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 really like the idea of pushing a button and walking away and having everything just kind of happen. Um, uh, that is me, though. I'm also wondering if I can convert this to just let it keep going until, uh, until you're out of materials. So, let's do this first. Let's make sure that we actually have, uh, at least one more brewing stand. I'm not entirely sure now that I think about it. I think the last batch of brewing stands I put together went to the clerics. And, no, okay, we got a couple. Let me grab two. I'm going to need two brewing stands, a bunch of hoppers. Uh, I'm going to need, no, uh, I need dispensers. We don't have enough, we don't have a lot of dispensers. Okay. Uh, let us grab some cobble. Um, redstone, a nap, that can't be Java under there, he barks too much, uh, oh, I need some bows. Because I need six dispensers for what I'm going to do today. And you know what the nice thing is? Regular old broken bows can be used. Four, five, six. I mean, I could disenchant that if I wanted to. Uh, all right. What we're going to do is we're going to go dropper. And it won't make it part of the recipe, but you can drop a broken bow, and it will make it a dispenser. I kind of wish bows stacked, though, because uh, then you could make these a lot faster. But if you get a bunch of broken bows from, say, a farm of some sort, that's an excellent way to make good use of them. All right, uh, let's just toss the rest in there for now. So we got six dispensers. I can't remember how many hoppers. I need chests or barrels. Just are good though. Oh, we uh, we appear to be low on chests as well. Uh, all right. There's some dark oak from some other excursion at some other point in time. Let me go ahead and you know what? 
I know that's way more chests than I need, but it's not like they're going to go to waste. All right. I need buttons. Buttons. All right. I have buttons. Buttons, hoppers, dispensers, and I need my redstone boxes. I'm not sure what it, I'm, I can't remember what else I needed. It's been it's been a while since I built something like this. Uh, the last time was when I built the ones that we have in the Nether uh, over by the uh, big farm, the uh, the Bigland Trading Farm. That guy's gonna be busy. I cleared that out uh, a week ago, maybe give or take. I have been logging on and. Uh, going AFK to replenish our melon and pumpkin supply, mostly so I could help Reyes gather glass for... Oh! 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 There's... I did just see a creeper walking around down here, didn't I? Something is not lit. Oh! Hello, good sir. You represent a massive problem. Mm-hmm. What is not lit? Oh! Hi! One of us is doing better in this sniper battle. And it's sadly not me. Is it... Is it the top of that? I think it's the top of that. Alright. Let's, uh... Surely... I've, there's my lighting box. You know, we're just gonna grab a couple of those guys there. I'm pretty sure they're popping up on top of that. Somewhere around there. I have no idea where. Alright. Is that enough torches? Eh. No such thing as enough torches. That's good enough for the moment. Because I still got those guys to put into more farms like that guy. That, uh, that project will have to wait until another day. Okay. Alright. Wish I knew where all the chest went, though. He says as he walks by a whole bunch of them. That's probably... I, I might even end up tearing that farm down and moving it again. Yet again. Again, again. Alright, looks like Arcadius is coming along. Alright, um... Where was I headed? I was headed up to... The Nether. Oh, are we building a, uh... Soda fountain? Yeah, somewhere. <laughs> uh, that is part of the question, is where are we going to build this? Uh, I was going to put together two of the stations like what we have in the nether. Um, I just, uh, I don't, I don't know where. I, I, I think, uh, I think maybe next season we, we ought to do a little more city planning and figure out what things we would like to build. Maybe, let's start at the beginning. How does one actually make... A brewing stand. Oh, oh no! I I was getting there too. One uh one step at a time. I was gathering my wits as I gathered my materials. Uh, build furniture. What? Build for <laughs> oh oh uh, Pink Geek is talking about some of the the Instagram posts I've been sharing. <laughs> <laughs> with uh, some really cool furniture builds, uh, I have been keeping that would an eye out for him to have a building, Pinky. I, I I've I've been keeping my eye out for them because I 
I struggle so hard with interiors. I do. Uh, it is not my strong suit by any stretch of the Exteriors, imagination. Interiors, roofs. Uh, <laughs> hey. Hey. I do okay with ceilings, though. Uh, it's okay. At least you have a base. I mean, there's someone else on the server that doesn't even have a base. They live out of community. Yeah, well. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no Victorian style manners with or without full interior. Do, do, do you see my, do you see my beautiful chapel with, with the roof that is, uh, um, about as finished as the, as the tree farm and the lighthouse. Uh, how about she go build although, a Victorian manor? <laughs> although I don't think pink, pink Eek was on when I finished it. That's the shell for my lighthouse. It's a little one. I thought about making it a little bit bigger. I also need to I need to slim the cap a little bit. Uh, I built it to the design spec from um, the the template generator that I was using, and then I mob proofed the top, and mob proofing it made it just a little too tall. So I'm probably going to go back and thin thin down the top a little bit. Uh, library is the goal. The library is the goal for the second floor of the chapel here. As soon as, you know, we get a roof to keep all the librarians safe. That, that's what this space is reserved for, is a massive library so we can have lots and lots of, uh, villagers to trade with. I, I think she's just trying to get a, uh, a white listing, is, is that? Yeah, 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 <laughs> well. That's what it looks like, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, just because it worked for Tango Tech. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> furniture library? What? What is a furniture library? Or are you talking about a furnished library? I don't know. A furniture library sounds crazy. Like, what would the dude that, that sounds like, like IKEA. That? <laughs> it does, actually, now that you mention it. Don't worry, the CEO will have his cabinet assembled by the end of the weekend. <laughs> Alright, let me grab some water bottles. Uh, yeah, we, we've uh, picked up a few fire resistance potions, like a lot more than I was expecting. Desks and cabinets and stuff. Eh, maybe. Oh, by the by. Arcadius, is this your shulker box full of dirt and empty shulker box in here? No, no, it's not. No? No, 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 no. So, whose shulker box and all that? It's yours, isn't it? Uh oh. Over here in this barrel. There's two shulker boxes down there. Negative ghost right? No. <laughs> No, my you can't see it, but my inner chest is full, which means I don't have any more boxes floating around anywhere. Uh, are you sure you don't I'm have more, more boxes than just what'll fit in an ender chest? Yes, I donate all the rest of them to you guys. I, I just the forty-two thousand sand and the. I, I <laughs> struggle. I struggle very hard to imagine a shulker box uh, or having. Only enough shulker boxes to fit in an ender chest. Well, that's because you leave yours lying everywhere. <laughs> I don't leave them lying everywhere. Just in the active okay. projects. Come come back here for just a second. Like right over here. Right over here. Right where I'm standing. Okay. Now look up there. That yep. is who you need to kill to make a brewing stand. I, we're getting there. <laughs> One step at a time, man. <laughs> I was hoping we had some extras. Okay. Yeah, that'll be fine. Uh, <laughs> all right. And the instant health and melon slices, glowstone dust, and of Hello? course, another word. Hello. Ikea? Ikea, what? No. I heard Ikea. <laughs> I was saying it three times. Wow. Say it three times. Wow. I can't summon you right now. <laughs> Is that how that works? 
Uh, you say you Ikea say three, three times, times in the rest appears? And you summon a rest? Yep. Okay. All right. But for serious, I have two things on my wish list from there. Uh, only two? I find that very hard to believe. <gasps> Why didn't... Oh, okay. Why didn't... I should have told someone that's what I wanted for their uh, upcoming gift-giving occasion. What? An Ikea gift card? I mean, that works, too. <gasps> Quick. Quick? Is Beach Duck on? Uh, not yet. Pig Geek. Tech, text Beach Duck that Ikea gift card is an amazing idea and should be a thing. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. I gotta refresh my memory on how some of this works because I can't find the screenshots. Alright, uh, so we got that. We got one, two, three. Okay, I'm gonna go get coffee now. And also, yes, I need you to understand that I love Ikea enough that I popped on to say that before I got my coffee. <laughs> I, somehow, somehow I am very much not surprised. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. Okay. All right. Ah, you know what? I'll probably just end up back here anyway. And I thought I put a door over here. Because I needed a, a maintenance entrance. Do we have any Do we have any door materials handy? Really, there's got to be something I can make a door with. Oh, um, Arcadius? Yes. At some point... I was actually thinking about putting uh, mushrooms in between these birch slabs to remind me that the birch slabs take you to the trail of mushrooms that take me to the mushroom island. Does that make sense? <laughs> I'm so lost right now. What are we talking about? Uh, well, I keep forgetting which one of these paths takes me to where your mushroom island portal is. Oh. Uh, beyond Be the uh, witch portal. Yeah, I except. Do 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 you see the reminder? We are, we have reminders of everything except that one little fact. So I was thinking about grabbing a bunch of mushrooms and just putting them in between the planks, so that way I'd remember which way to go to the mushroom biome. Well, that works too. <laughs> uh, uh, if there aren't enough mushrooms on the roof. Of the nether there is a box right inside the uh the cow dome to the right that the has a ton dome. of mushrooms in it is is that like the the not not the minor league what's what's the farm league below the miners or is that what it is the farm league is that like the farm league for the uh cowboys the mushroom uh, the cow dome cow dome yeah it's the thunder yeah. dome but, you know. no 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 thunder dome something totally different <laughs> Oops. Time to sleep. Ill on about those cabinets there. Look over and she's still talking about desks and cabinet stuff. Or is that an old message? That's probably an old That's message. an old message. I know I want to make at least two of these, but I think I might set up a few more just in case. So let's make some more brewing stands. Um, cobble. That's what I'm missing. I knew I was missing something. Oh, <laughs> all right. I'll, I'll put those there. I know eventually I'm going to need to go back. So let me, uh, let me get an iron door and a wooden button that'll stick out. Just kind of stick that minder just for when I'm back that way again. Ooh, 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 how? Mm -mm. Ow. Bad piggy. Bad. Why, why does... 
Why does my phone think that I'm trying to talk to it? When did ooh ooh ow become? I'm trying to summon the assistant. So, starting from the beginning, I need some brewing stands. To get a brewing stand, you need some cobblestone and blaze rods, which you can find in the nether by hopefully killing more blaze than they kill you. You also need that for the blaze powder to uh, to fuel the rod. We'll get to fuel the rod to fuel the brewing stand. Um, get a couple of them. Nice lucky number like seven. We'll grab, you know, we'll just turn the rest of that into blaze powder because we'll need that in a minute. We don't need that cobble anymore. So I'm just going to toss it in the ever-growing pile of junk that uh, I'll get to in a little bit. No, they don't kill you in a blaze of fury. Uh, we still haven't... Where are we putting these brewing stations? Like, I'm actually kind of tempted to just tuck them in the corner under here. We've got one, two, three blocks. That's enough height. Dig this out just a smidge to get some of the redstone underneath. And No? What do you say? Uh, you're not coming through on your mic. Yeah, I'm sorry. But speaking to me, and I forgot to unmute. Ah. I said, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Normally, I don't get uh, a say in such matters. All right, then we'll tuck it under the sheep farm. Because <laughs> it's a very convenient space that is uh, otherwise lacking in anything. But since it's hidden like that, does that make it a speakeasy? I mean... No. No. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> what space is very convenient? Underneath the uh, porch on the sheep farm. That's where our coffee bar is going? I was just going to tuck them under there. It's a nice way to hide all the redstone. Unless you get somewhere better in mind. You got started. It's fine. Hmm. Except no, I haven't gotten. Fine. I haven't gotten started yet. Now is the, speak now or forever visit the speakeasy. I'm loading. <laughs> One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. That means that we could fit four four of the automatic brewing stations under that spot right there. No. Uh, no? You know, I hate that number. That's the number you have. The room. Physics says that that's what you have. Whether you like it or not. sometimes sure or rather our understanding of physics changes can you change your understanding of those physics nope Seems good enough. What? Where are you putting it? I'll put another one right there. And then we got one, two, three. Now the 
last one will go right there. And then we'll do some retraining afterwards. Alright, so that goes... Uh, yeah, okay. okay. So what's going to happen is we're going to set up the brewing stands. Going to need more blaze rods too. Miscounted. Yeah, I'm off by one. What's the name of the farmy thing I want to build with the people with the um, black skeletons? Who? The wither skeleton farm. Yeah. And we're in one point what? One point sixteen point four. I don't sound very confident, sir. Uh, because it's not very confident. Look, I, I just miscounted everything here by one, so... Uh, 1.16.5. Is it dot five? Yeah, I guess it is dot five, isn't it? People lie. Not lie, just suffer memory thingamajigs, whatever they're called. Oh, is that what they're called? It's a technical term, I know. You just gotta be careful, which... Thing with jig you're talk talking about because there's a lot of different thing with jigs. Oh yeah, yep. Especially when it comes to the memory thing with jigs. True. What were we talking also, about? Also, Anon is gonna hate me. Uh oh. Um, I did an update, and it changed all my audio settings and my microphone settings. Seriously, so I just click. Thank you. So I just click buttons until it worked. Uh, wait, what? What? Huh? Seriously, man? Thank you. You know you don't have to do that, right? Wait, wait a minute. I don't... I don't... You told me that no. in order for me to be part of Coffee Craft, I had to subscribe. That's mm -mm. messed up. I did not say that. <laughs> I did not say that, good sir. <laughs> you said that was my dues for being able to play on the private server. Nope. Man. Nope, nope. Don't be telling those stories. <laughs> yeah, now if I can just get other people to follow suit. Subscribe. Uh, no, 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 I'm talking about other people and that uh, show up in chat. Uh. Yep. Yeah, get everybody subscribing. <laughs> Sooner or later. Okay, well, now that I'm actually officially in, and I, I need to go refill coffee. Coffee's cold. Oh. <laughs> yep. No, yeah. don't do not do the thing where you put it in the microwave, please. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I add hot coffee to it. That makes it so no. warm. No, no, no. That's <laughs> not, that's, no, that's not better. That's not yes, better. Sir, it's, it's not wasting the coffee. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you hurt it? What do you mean I'm No, no, no. It's, it's hurt when it's cold. I'm just warming it up. I'm trying to save it. No. No. Okay, uh, I'll just go nuke it. That, 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 that's a negative <laughs> ghost rider. so sad. I'm okay with that. No. Oh, that poor coffee. What's wrong with it? It's being abused. Nothing wrong with nuking it. I mean, uh, better than 
trying to walk all the way back to the cafeteria to get another cup. Mm-mm. I mean. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That's a nope. I don't know. I think Jen would agree with me. No. Cafeteria's a long way away, and you can't always go down there. All right. Um. What? What? I got this bad feeling like I didn't count this out right. Didn't count it out right? No. Hang on. Back to the other one. Short-term memory, something or other. What's it called again? Oh, well, I mean, I guess while I'm here, I can also uh, install that door I keep forgetting about. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I need five blocks high. Why did I think it was three? need five blocks. Maybe I won't be able... I don't think I'll be able to put it there now. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I also should have grabbed more than one button. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so it's going to be that kind of day. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. It's that kind of a, a, a drinking establishment, you know. Once you go in, you have to drink the oh keys, and you're not allowed to leave. All right. Um, back up. I can't you find blueprints of things. Blueprints? Uh, you can. Instead of videos. No, there's blueprints at places. Minecraft blueprints. They, there may well, even be a dot com of that. I don't know. No, I want like, like, I love Rayworks, but there's a lot of talky talky and not a lot of showy showy. Oh. <laughs> I mean, the talky talky is kind of his shtick. Well, I get that, and, and I do appreciate some of the talky-talky, and it is helpful to a certain extent, but if I'm, like, just trying to refresh the video that I watched and get to the part where it tells me how many, you know, I can't remember how many blocks wide this platform was, or blah, 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 blah. Ah. Uh. It'd be nice to just be able to go, like, to the blooper and be like, oh, yeah, that's a 16 by 16. I got stuck on the safety fence. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Alright, I need five blocks high, not three. So do I dig this? No, I'm not going to dig this down two more. Alright. We're going to find a better home for this then. game sounds again because the update because what update <laughs> i don't know i did some update on my computer microsoft oh. said i had to and you don't know what i didn't stop and ask you're not supposed to update just before going live right oh i didn't do it before going live i did it after we played last but this is the first time i've been on since then Oh. Is that what we need to talk about? Like That I don't get on my computer as much as you guys do? I, I wouldn't phrase it like that, but... That's in the ballpark. <laughs> but it's not wrong. We, we're, we're talking about your computer, not... not. <laughs> <laughs> Stop trying to deflect on us. <laughs> and I can't find the banana. What's it called? It's in the fridge. No, on the fridge. 
Or is no. it in the pudding? Ooh, banana pudding. I don't pudding. like either of you sometimes. I miss carbs. For serious, what was it called? Voice meter banana. Thank you. Glad you knew what she was talking about. I'm still scratching my head like, what? I thought she meant a little stress banana she's got. It, well, maybe by the end of this. I do know where my stress banana is. That's in my backpack. I take it to work every day. Five. Oh, no. Okay, so we'll just build it on this side instead of the other side. Wait. No. No, no. Never mind. That's not going to work. Banana. I want to talk to you. My banana won't load. Is that the problem? Oh, I mean, we could clear this patch of land. That, that's actually uh, that's actually an option. Clear out this little hill thingy here. Set up some brewing stands outside of the outside of the church, and it's that coffee shop that always seems to spring up just outside of every church. Uh, I wish you hadn't said that. Bomb. What? Because I have a really funny, but I'm not entirely sure if it's appropriate story. Oh, okay. Because a really good friend of I, a friend of mine and I were uh, looking for coffee one day while we were in a place that we weren't familiar with because we were helping her house hunt. And uh. we decided we needed coffee because, yeah, that sentence was good enough. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I was getting ready to say, if it's who I think it is. Uh-huh, it is. Yeah. And um, you, we just saw we this coffee, coffee shop. And it brought us to a building of religious focus. And okay. we we were very confused and couldn't figure out where the coffee was. Oh. And because it kept bringing us to the religious building and we wanted a coffee shop and we couldn't figure out where the coffee shop was. So we ended up like parking there and trying to like Google and figure it out and like Google like Google Maps like at the ground level and walk around. And we didn't realize that we were creepily parked outside of a religious institute that was also an institute of education. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, could I figure out the name of said institution in three yeses or less? No, no, because then, then you would have known. Never mind. But, yeah, so... It was it, it it was a thing, and then we ended up not getting coffee because we didn't want to go inside <laughs> because we we felt really weird as the adult creepers at like 3 p.m. on a Wednesday just sitting creepily out there. Oh, just for a cup of coffee? Yeah. So we went somewhere else. We went further out of our way and found Starbucks. Oh, I thought you said you wanted coffee. coffee. But, it's, but it's a close enough substitute when you're in a real pinch. Well, speaking of coffee and Reyes, per Reyes's uh, request, I now have uh, radiation infused coffee. Oh. <laughs> I don't think that was the request, but. Hmm? Oh, no. <laughs> So sad. Oh my, why I have many hub notes. Hub notes? Hub notes. Um. The glass. So what? I have all of the glass. Oh, yeah, so you checked your mail. E, thank you. That wasn't me. No, that was me. I, I've been. Uh, I appreciate it all the same. I've been replenishing the melon and pumpkin supply and then diminishing it again. Might be enough to make my bubble. I, I still tremble at the idea of what bubble you're trying to build. It's okay. I'm having fun and enjoying it. Mm hmm. 
And that's the point of the game. Are you going to name the bubble social distance? Mm, no, but that subject does make me happy. Does or does not? Um, It does not when people avoid it, but the fact ah. that now it's like a legally mandated thing and that, that part makes me happy. Introverts rejoice. Yeah, exactly. I am very happy because of that part of it. Yeah, I had to wake up at uh, 4 o'clock this morning to, to go to work. Uh-oh. Is that... That's not your normal time, is it? Uh, no, but it might become a normal time. Ah. Why for? Because I paid a lot of money this morning at <laughs> 4 o'clock. <laughs> oh, okay. So this was a semi-intentional reason for waking in an hour that doesn't exist in my world. Uh, okay. Yes. Uh, four, four in the morning exists. It's that time when you wake up and look at the clock and go, why did I wake up and roll over? Oh, Do I, I need to compensate you for said glass? No. I needed the XP. <laughs> ah. We're already getting cheesecake. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was doing so good. Hey. <laughs> Everybody gets what they want on their gift-giving occasion. Um, okay. Th this rock hole over by the, the chapel, does this actually go somewhere, or... Rock hole? Yeah, there's a hole in the rock. And it's lit like we intended to go somewhere. No, it goes nowhere. It's it probably lit. lit. Because I am on stage to late the world. I will. Okay, uh, I'm back with the first load of. Uh, I wood said it would happen one day. I have a uh, orange uh, shulker down called my project box. Just dump it in there. I'm getting ready to head back out there myself. Which up? Just getting stuff set up. I don't know if there's going to be enough room in there for everything I got. Uh oh. Well, trust me. There's there's more. Are you headed back? Are you headed out to the Nether or back out to the Mushroom? Uh, I'm at the moose room right now. I'm going to be heading back out to the nether here in a minute. Uh oh. Oh. Do I dare ask what to work on? Oh, I'm, I'm grabbing stuff for. I need to go empty all these boxes. Uh, I'm grabbing stuff for um, mine and uh, Arcadius's project out here at the moose room island. Uh, more with the soccer field or? The yes, whole island. That's enough. That's enough. What kind of stuff do you need? Basically, just wood. Oh, and... that didn't even come out in the same spot. So I can definitely, I can definitely. Just all the materials. Fill that hole. That you need from the Nether? Yeah, I'm, I'm pulling a race on this one. What kind of materials do you need? Yes. <laughs> well, the reason I'm asking is because I the, the space has to be cleared where the bubble is going. Uh, no, it's got to be um, not unless it's in the middle of one of the crimson forest or uh, the blue forest. I don't think it is. Probably That's not. Where I need to go. Ah, okay. Or, I mean, not yeah. where I need to go. That's what I need. Yeah, he's a little warped. Yep. Really? Really? Really, really. Oh, my neck just popped. Oh. Okay, lay sigh. I, I noticed that despite... I, I thought I was just going to have a real quick potion brewing building session and then uh, onward and forward, but... Like a great many of my projects. Some... Oh! 
Oh, that over there. a wine cellar off to the side of the church. Put a little <laughs> armor stand with a skeleton head walled up behind a little brick wall. Ask her English to teach your kids. Actually, no. She'll probably cry if you have to ask. Why did I come back? Do you assume she knows? I, I, I like to hope better. I'm sure you would. Did you did you see the uh, the the one I posted in uh, Discord earlier this afternoon? An English teacher writing uh, saying, "Okay, today we're going to be studying the Lord of the Flies," and then she walks out, and there's a conch shell sitting on the uh, chalkboard. Oh, that's beautiful. I was like, oh, that's that's too good. That is way too good. I love it. Okay, Even better okay. If she this locked is getting the door. dangerous. <laughs> uh, well, you did say you were building in the nether. Bless you. No, no, it's getting dangerous flying in the nether. Uh, Why? Yeah, we're, we're lagging a lot. You said getting? Like it's not dangerous flying in the nether on the best of days? I normally don't have a problem. Yeah, you're I also not normally it. on when the rest of us are on, too. Okay, that's fair. Why is it sadder than normal in the nether? Is this the nether? Because you just take, you take off and then everything's invisible and then you smack it to the side of the mountain at full speed. I hear that's not recommended. I'm confused. That's not how everybody flies? No, that's not how everybody flies. Oh. Okay. That's how I fly. Well. Oh, I'm not carrying a totem. Why don't you carry a totem? That's a fair question. Uh, because I'd rather carry my sword and fireworks. I carry a sword and fireworks. Just, you know, switch between each end. I need to hang on to those. Yeah, I'll put those in there for now. Did you find all the boxes of uh, glass? Yep. I was curious how much more you needed. You don't want to know. Probably not, but that doesn't change that I'm still kind of curious how much more you needed. Um, this might be enough. Might? You heard me. I did not stutter. I, I, I did hear you. You did not stutter. That doesn't change. Might? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's going to be beautiful. Uh... Sure. One word for it. <laughs> it probably will be beautiful. Beautifully efficient. Perfectly balanced as all things are. Or as all things beautiful should be. Beautiful and efficient. Alright, I just realized I'm not going to build it on that side. After all that work. Why? I don't know. I don't like it there. I don't want it there. I want another. We don't have enough boxing. Uh, you don't have enough boxing. I wonder. Oh, never mind. The walls aren't open on that side. Okay. Wandering over. What can we get most readily? Um. Ooh, that is a good question. I don't know wood out in the, uh, the wood boxes. Yes. Uh, I 
think we got some birch from when I was testing this. Unless I already put it in, uh... Yeah, I, I already put everything that was in there in, uh... In okay, storage already. There, there's plenty of... There should be plenty of dark oak. I did some farming. I think it was either spruce or oak. There should be tons of it over there. I got it. Oops. Thank you, though. Are you making more boxes? I had to make a few more shulkers. Ah. To hold it all. It's going to be so pretty. Where's the one that I just And there took? will be no disparaging of the pretty. Of course not. Why would there be? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh... Is there a reason to put them in the most random assortment of boxing? Yeah. To be random. I actually went out of my way to make sure that it was in as random an assortment of boxes as I could. You're getting the look, sir. I know. I can see. You I cannot just, see. I just realized the, uh... Well, I mean, it's the same look your characters give me. Oh, 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 oh. Right. In this game or in our other game? Probably yes. Okay. Right. Uh, let's drop that there. That there. That there. Get or is it like the look that a GM gives you when you make the new GM who said be nice to the new GM who is new to GMing long-term campaigns and say I'm going to make them figure out the fall damage <laughs> of a whatever it was <laughs> a dire wolverine yes that I was being nice pray tell This alley here. We'll leave it unlit. Then set up the stands so they face that way. Sure, that works. I shall have to do more lighting. Mm -mm. All right. So we go this way a little bit, and we'll go put one there, put one there. Actually. set up and ready. Whatever we want. Mm -hmm. Things that don't make you burn up when you fall in lava would be nice. Uh, we got plenty of those in the nether. I'm about to start working in the nether. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And on a consistent basis. Over at, over at the, the brewing station in the nether, there's several double chest full 
grab you another shulker box. He thinks you don't understand. I understand. Maybe, maybe I should go spend a bit of time <clears throat> over at the uh, raid farm. <laughs> oh, getting more uh, totems? Yeah. Yeah. That, that might be good. Someone insinuating that I might die a few times. Not if you have a totem? I mean, you're not wrong about that, but... I think I still need more of both of those. Let me grab now I have it. to make all of the red. I just realized the problem with uh, taking your screenshots of the redstone in the nether version. It's, uh, it's a might bit dark. Part of me wants to complain that it's cold, but after going without AC. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's been... Yeah. Like, what else? First the first the uh, lower assembly in the car, then the AC in the apartment. I was going to utter words that I realized it would not be smart to send out into the universe. Oh, don't you know how I feel about those words? Mm-hmm. Don't you even yeah, think have, them? I have the AC guy coming tomorrow. To work on mine. Is it not working, or is it just like not working as well as it could? Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> I know that feeling. That was the um. Well, the oh, what do you call it? The big giant fan at the top. Of the unit itself Holy fan. is not coming is not coming on. Nope. The blower is still blowing and there is still cooler air coming out. I mean my house cooler. isn't sitting at nineties, you know, but when it's eighty degrees outside, I've got you know, I, I keep my air set at seventy one. And when it's eighty degrees outside and mm -hmm. At 11 o'clock at night, it's 75 in here. That's not working. No, that's, that's not fair. working. Although, how hot did it get last night? Because it was not not hot. Uh, toasty. It got toasty. It felt pretty good here. Okay. Room like, out. if I am it's saying cold. complaining because it's too hot, you know. Mm-hmm. Problems. Is that going to work? Yeah. Or we're at your parents' house. What'd you say, then? Nothing smart. I mean, there are some givens in life. I don't know. I think he's full of wisdom. The marital kind? I tell you what, it is really nice walking up to a wool farm and just going like, yep, I need a stack. There we go. Although... Has anybody been digging into the wool lately? I, I, I've been wondering if we need to check the shears on the farm. Um, not crazy. I mean, we got a massive uh, blue carpet. Although, eh. Ooh, I have a question for the server. Uh-oh. Brace yourselves. Not funny. Um... What is everyone's, like, what is your favorite farm, and what is the one that you think is most useful that should be, like, our top three next season that we build? 
like or first three rather are, are you getting ready to riff off of the earlier comment about how we should probably do a little more planning for what farms we're gonna need and all that oh i hadn't heard that comment One, two, three, four, five, six. no i genuinely hadn't heard that comment earlier yeah I, I i was i was I, I was looking at where to put the potion brewing station and lamenting that we didn't really plan, you know, the, the downside to organically building stuff as we decide to build it is uh, apparent when you're going, oh, I need to build a few brewing stations. We made uh, plans in the same way the city of Charlotte made plans. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Uh, I mean, okay, you're not wrong. Okay, so back to her actual question. Mm-hmm. Who wants to go first? Well, Reverse go alphabetical first. order. Wait, what? Reverse alphabetical <laughs> order. First alphabetical order. I guess that's X uh, is that, No, is that going to be reverse alphabetical order with stage names or real names? <laughs> stage names. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> okay, I'll go first. <laughs> <sighs> um, my favorite farm. My favorite farm has to be the gold farm. No. Oh. <laughs> that is my favorite farm by far. That that seems to have been a rather unexpected favorite too, if I must say. I mean, I, I knew it was going to be uh, good and fun, but I, I wasn't expecting it to be like the farm that totally... I literally had almost most of my armor and weapons and stuff was down by half at least just now and as we were talking I flew up there and everything's completely repaired that fast and I have 45 levels again yep so gold farm is my favorite now as far as most useful farms that I think for a new season would be on the top of the list of getting done first iron farm Yep. by far is the biggest one for me uh, that's that's number one hold on it's my next turn don't worry I'll harass you too I'm good at it uh, number two I think is the pumpkin melon farm for all the emeralds the unlimited supply of emeralds uh, to buy stuff from traders or to buy stuff from everybody and the number three farm would be the sheep farm. The Or no, no, I take that back. I'm not even going to put that on there. Uh, I'll go number three will be the uh, the trading hall. Oh, that, okay. Is that a farm? I mean, I mean, we might not want to acknowledge that it's a farm, but... They get paid. Yeah. They, they get paid in emeralds. It, it's kind of a farm. Uh, I Not mean, it's no worse than an Amazon warehouse. Oh. I mean, oh. the actual farm is a breeding farm, and they don't get paid anything but carrots. But they clearly appreciate those carrots. <laughs> oh, um... I mean, do they really, though? The people they throwing mean... them the carrots are holding diamond swords and diamond axes. I kind of I kind of get the feeling that they're forced into this. Nah. Okay, so that's Medic's favorite. Who's next? I just, I just realized this. Uh, I don't know if I can tile these next to each other. That would like be that. you in reverse uh, alphabetical. You. Rest. Well. Technically, I guess it would have been first in that way, but I was interviewing you guys, so uh, I think you're... Hold on. Yeah, you're next. No, you wouldn't have been next. Or you wouldn't have been first. I'm ex medic frog, remember? Oh, yeah. ha, ha Okay. Yep. You shake good, sir. You have me there. Uh, if I were raised, where would I put... There we go. Seriously? I thought we had more stream um, than that. Okay, so my... Favorite farm. Oh, wait a second. Hmm. Hmm. 
My favorite firm has to be the trading hall because it's also my XP farm. It doubles as a lot of things for me. You, you mean the one that you're just decrying as the Amazon warehouse of the server? I mean, if we're talking about how we treat them, I mean, it's not great. But as far as results... Yeah, but we pay them better. It's not great. Number one, they, got they have shelter. They, they have two, they purpose. Get food. They, they get food. They have valid oh, jobs. Oh. And as a matter of fact, there's, what, 16 of them or something that don't work at all? All we do is just let them breed. It's like having our own little brothel in the back. Um, that's not helping things. <laughs> I'm just saying. So that's probably my favorite. And next season, definitely Iron Farm. Definitely the Trading Hall. And... Hmm. What else but do I use? Which one do you think would be first, though? <clears throat> yeah, your original question was your favorite and your the one that you think we should have definitely next season. Definitely or definitely first? Because those are two definitely very first. definite. Like... I kind of think they have to go hand in hand. Because, like, there's no point in having it if you don't have anything to trade with them. Well, that's why I said that my my suggestion for the very first farm would be the iron farm. It allows us to build a lot more stuff. It does. So yeah, iron first, but then the trading. And then I would really like a tree farm, even though we don't have one this season. Uh, we don't have a finished <laughs> one this season. We're, it's yeah, kind of like our there. blaze farm. Kind of like our blaze farm. We don't have one finished yet. Hey, wait till I'm done with the thingy that I'm building. Actually, mm -hmm. I think technically they will happen in the thingy that I'm building. Uh, Depends on which one, which version you build. There are versions of the Wither Skeleton Farm that will also coincidentally get you Blaze, but uh, not not all of them do. It's mine. Who's next? <clears throat> Arcadius. AR comes before A and N, so. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Funnest. I'm definitely going to have to just throw out that gold farm, because that thing is hilarious. Literally just stand there and, and pretty much do nothing while the piggies fall and die around you, and you gain a ton of XP for... Well, nothing. Wait. Um... Why did I think that was? And it's oh, insanely oh. easy to make, honestly. The hardest uh, part is getting on the roof. Give me, uh, <laughs> I was there. Yeah, I was gonna say it was easy to make. Uh, you weren't there for oh, the gathering was. of all the magma cubes to make that happen. No, that well, that got that do. got a little uh 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 special at times. <laughs> and that was a lot. Easy enough. And, that was uh, you. Exactly. Says me. My opinion. You have your opinion next. <laughs> oh yeah. I... <laughs> oh yeah. It was easy. I mean, I just went to the shulker box and I grabbed a bunch of you know easy. Exactly. Exactly. It was easy. Anyway, um, as far as ah, the very first farm we should have. <clears throat> Dunk on it. I'm going to have to say that 
Probably a scoot farm. I mean, yeah, you need a villager breeder, and it's probably like one of the first ones you're gonna want. But for someone like me who likes to go a traveling, uh, turtle helmet towards the earlier beginnings of the game is extremely helpful, especially when you're doing the uh, buried treasure quests and all that. That's my vote. I thought there You're was supposed to be three. I thought it was just supposed one to be three. One. Eh, three. Well then, yeah. After that one is the villager breeder, and then after that is the uh, the iron farm as well. Thing is super useful when you're trading with villagers all the time. Well, having having the iron farm early game definitely changed everything this season. Because we didn't have an iron farm until late last season. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I just realized I had to rethink how I, how I was setting up all that redstone. Uh, oh, bother. Exe has frozen. <laughs> I, I need I need that little annoying cord adjacent sound that plays every time something in the computer locks up. <laughs> mm, I got you one better. That that rather discordant don't like. Hey, hey, you look like you're trying to think of something. Would you like some help with that? <laughs> No. <laughs> All the no. Uh oh. All right. Is it my eyes or? Oh no, it's getting dark out. Okay. Always oh, dark in the Nether. What are you talking about? No, oh, you want to sleep for me? <laughs> no, no, I'm good. Thanks. You can sleep in a second if you need me to. No, because nobody can sleep for a couple of seconds. I got my bed mm -hmm. right here. I guess I should have spent yesterday uh, finding a spot and getting it set up. A spot for what? The push and bring station. Ah. All right. Let's try this again, shall we? We shall. Why did I have those spots dug out? I don't know. Yeah. Apparently you don't either. No, I don't. <laughs> What's in the brewing stands we have? Nothing. Which More brewing nothing. stands? It has fire. Which brewing stands are you looking at? The ones on either side of the bed in the storage unit. Oh. Oh, hey, there's a wandering trader. He's outside Ooh. the melon pumpkin area. <laughs> Let's say he's nowhere near me. <laughs> yeah, if he's near me, he's in trouble. Hi. <laughs> he was just he over here a minute ago. Seriously. How do these yep. guys just... Okay. I literally just saw him over here. Oh, because he's over here. Ah. All right. He has things. Once more. Oh, <laughs> and now it let us know. In case you hadn't noticed. <laughs> In case you hadn't noticed, there, there is now a wandering trader near Rast. Hey, don't let him go anywhere. Uh, there really isn't a way to do that. Well, can you go get some things for me? Maybe. Please. Maybe. So 
So the whole light, okay. Yeah. Let me try to get a little bit more of this finished before I try to run through it again. It's gonna go off to the side there. Nope. To the side. down a list for me. you have a white dry erase board next to you? I do not. I thought you did. Oh. Nope. Did it... That was a sticky note I put to the wall that you guys saw me writing on while we were playing D&D. No, I, no, I could have sworn you had a dry erase board next to you. Mm -mm. Not, not here. I used to at the old apartment. Not at this one. That okay. needs to be remedied. Well, I was about to say that's. Uh, I think I've got an. I think I've got a couple handy. extra dry erase notebooks floating around here. I I'll have to remember to. Uh, I don't have room for a notebook. I have all the things I need to GM, which take up all of my space. No, my space died years ago. Oh, it was tragic. Wow. I just remembered. I gotta finish working on my gift to you as a new DM. Uh oh. I mean, you got plenty of time before the end of this campaign, because I thought you said the gift was for when I DM, like, a, uh, like, for real, like, campaign. Not this thing out of the book that was written with, we're going to call it good intent. Well, the question is, are you going to DM a, quote, real campaign after we finish this one, or are you going to take a two-year hiatus? Well, it depends, because a certain member of our group, <clears throat> Arcadius has been planning the end of my reign since before it started. Oh. I didn't realize you were wanting to continue. I will more than happily step down and let you play. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he, we Hello, were Beach actually Duck. talking about there the other are. day. Hey, Beach Duck. All right. Beach yeah, Duck, we actually... Ikea gift cards. <laughs> Continue, hey. medic. This context-free message was brought to you by Rayest. When you need context-free <laughs> messages, get them from Rayest. Hey, Medic's gift receiving days in May, and, uh, you know, just saying, pressure cooker. <laughs> A what? <laughs> pressure cooker. <laughs> What's that? You already play on this server. I, yeah, but I, 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 thought, I thought we quit the pressure cooker. <laughs> oh. Real, what is that? A pressure cooker? A pressure canner. A pressure cooker. I'm not allowed in the kitchen. The Okay, so now that I'm working from home, I would like to start canning my own foods again, and I don't have a pressure cooker to do so. There, that should go up there. Ooh. I am making a really confused face at you. Okay, basically, you have a pot that you can put under some pretty heavy PSI. <gasps> oh, you can make dice in that. Wait, what? Um, no, no, that's no, 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 no. no. We're we're wrong, wrong, <laughs> wrong pot, wrong pot. We're close, but wrong pot. Wait, so you put you put the you you get the mold and you put the resin and whatever things you want to put in the resin in the mold. And then you heat it up to get the bubbles out of the resin, and then you put it in the pot, and the pot makes it not have oils. Or have bubbles. I quit. I'm done. <sighs> I know about those. <laughs> Don't mind me. Just rebuilding the She's same structure about five or six times. He's already got it planned out. Apparently she's going to get you a pressure cooker and then steal it. <laughs> no. Dice. I'm going to get him a pressure cooker and dice molds. Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> oh, so I could make like a bunch of dice for a, a nod? You know, just in case? Hey, 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 hey. In the, in the last campaign, it has not been my dice betraying us this time. No, it was mine. <laughs> Say it's mine, but you know, okay. <laughs> it was not mine this time. Guys watch? 
Uh, uh, it was not mine this time. It was not mine this time. That's all I'm saying. It was not mine this time. <laughs> well, it definitely wasn't mine whenever I pull my camera around and say, all right, I'm rolling a one and I roll a natural 20. Dude, that was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Sounds like a wild night. I can't tell if Beach Duck is making fun of us or not. Uh, well, she got the makings to fill the shark. Ah, okay. <clears throat> oh. 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 Miss Magic? I'm learning things. Doesn't sound like good things. Well, because I googled pressure cooker, it brought up pressure cooker recipes and they had pictures. And now I don't want to eat dinner. Oh. Really? How bad could it be? Pretty tasty, actually. It just Rob. doesn't look good until it's sliced and put on a plate. Braised pig feet was the okay, first one. Uh, okay, no, no. I'm not looking at that. That's not food. That's... No. <laughs> No, uh, yeah, no. Yeah, I, I may right. live south of the Mason Dixon, but I, I no pig's feet. Ooh, speaking of Mason Dixon, uh, I read an article today uh -oh. that said West Virginia, <laughs> West Virginia is opening its arms to everyone. If you come and live in West Virginia, the mm -hmm. West Virginia gov uh, state government will give you. Twelve thousand dollars cash, no strings attached. Just to live in West Virginia. Just to live in West Virginia and work remotely from home. Man. Why? I have so many jokes and none of them are appropriate. <laughs> well, also, I need someone to get blocks for me. According to the article, uh, mm -hmm. the reason is they're wanting to attract a. Uh, they're wanting to attract the group of people who have now determined that they are just going to work from home no matter what now and are also looking for outdoor recreational stuff. So West Virginia is wanting to become the sil the next Silicon Valley, as they put it. Uh-huh. I don't correlate Silicon Valley or anything related to it in West Virginia. Yeah, no, I'm okay, I need someone Virginia? to make a trip to me? the trading hall for me while I'm holding this wandering trader hostage. Anon. Um, he won't wander too far. Yes, but I can't write down the list because I don't have anything to write with. Like a screenshot? If I knew where those lived in my computer, that might be helpful. In the screenshots oh. folder. You're not funny. I, I've been told that on occasion. Or you could just go grab the blocks for me, please. No, because I need to sleep in a minute. All right, get, give me just a second, Rias, and I'll be over there. No, it's okay, but I'm going to go offline so I can find a piece of paper and a pencil. I'll see you guys next week. What? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> he, he's not gonna he's not gonna stay there just because you went offline. I hope you know that. She's been standing there talking to him long enough that she registers as AFK on my screen. <laughs> I wasn't lost in the middle of the nether, I'd go help her. I'm, I'm headed that way. <laughs> as soon as I find my way back. There we go. So weird. I found an actual pencil in our house. I didn't know we had those. <laughs> oh. An actual pencil? Yeah. I always use mechanical. Now we get a few actual pencils. And this is like an old school Bic number two. Of course. What else do you take your tests with? The number three. 
Okay. Lay them on me. Nether quartz ore. Or what? Orange concrete. It took me a minute there, and on. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what is he saying right now? Okay. Ready for the next one? Yep. Slime block. Okay. Dropper. If I was a nun, where would I store all the droppers? Uh. Okay. I don't know. Ask her wrist. Fletching table. Okay. Dark oak plank. Okay. Red mushroom block. Mushroom. Block. The, like, red spotty one. But not the mushroom, the actual, like, block. Uh, yeah, I'm looking for where that uh, would be. Top right, uh, it's a few down, I think. If it's still over there. Or it's with the other mushroom-related items, which would be near the nether stuff. I see nether mushroom stuff, but I don't see regular mushroom. Try the right side, all the way on the right. Looking all the way on the right. And now I'm coming over to the left. Maybe I'm just blind. What you looking for? There it is. I right, moved red, it. Red mushroom stuff. Oh no, all the way, all the way on the right. Yes, all the way, all the way on the right. The crimson yeah. fungus, or? Oh, you know what? Never mind. Never mind. You had it with the um, mycelium. Got it. Okay. Okay. Shulker box, which, by the way, I think the baby one should open. <laughs> okay. Be half the size. So, so, or... so, what, what do you hold? No, not baby... usable. Just like so. Just do the motion. Sea lantern. Where would I put? Nope. Nope. There it's we go. Engine, okay. Brown concrete. Only is concrete. Um. Okay. A grass block. You sound surprised by that. Okay. It's a very cute baby block. The grass block? Oak plank. Yep. Okay. Enchanting table. That is one I'm going to have to make because I don't think we have one of those. Uh, check in the box with all the professions. I'm looking at it right now and I do not see an enchanting table in here. So, give me a second. I'm going to have to make one of those. Okay. Do we have the diamond to do it? Uh, yeah. We actually have diamond stockpiled in the thing. What did I come here for again? Oh, gold. I like gold. Because we've got the trading hall set up so early this season. We really haven't had our use for diamond this season. Uh, okay. I'm going to have to spend some Except quality all the time times at gold farm. You had to remake your picks after you let it die. Well, that's why you talk to a villager. They'll sell them to you. Yeah. i got to go get a book. Yeah, you should take a look. A handy dandy notebook. Unless you put books in here where uh, the is. books are probably with the leather. Books are with the bookcases. Or the bookcases. With, with Reyes, it's hard to tell sometimes. Book, book I do not 
Let's see, bookcases. Bookcases are with the sticks. Books are with the bookcases. Bookcases are with the sticks. Sticks are with the <laughs> ladders. Bamboo. Ladders. Sticks are with ladders. Okay. They're, they're, Very oh, bottom it, row it. in the middle of the section got on the right. It, it, you never hold played hold sticks and ladders? <laughs> okay. Although I guess if you're British, you in, call it something else. I just can't remember what. Enchanting table. Got it. Shoot. No, it's not. And then it's not awesome and ladders emeralds? with uh, over in England. It's... Oh, it's snakes and ladders here. I thought it was shoots and ladders there. No, I think mm -hmm. backwards. Okay. Is that it? All right, I need thirteen emeralds. Yep. Where are you at? I am in between the trading hall and the storage unit. All right, you can use this shulker box as your shulker thing. I was just going to have you trade with them since Why they're just going into your box. Back? I just like getting them. <laughs> hmm? Oh. Okay. Yeah, I was just getting them because I like collecting things. Oh, hey, you're staying still. No, he's not. He's a wanderer. I'd sink, but I don't want to come But they all straight. go into your box. Um, hey! I'm hey. not to have... Room. Come here, dude. Okay, I can talk to him. Do you have enough room? There, Try. if not, you can toss him in there. Ah. There's a wall. Hey, Beach Duck, I'm eating grapes. This time she got out of the store, you know, before. All right. Okay. He's not letting me buy this stuff from him. Why? Maybe it's in the wrong order. No, it's not in the wrong order. Oh, there is because I'm full. Hold on. Hi, Joe. How are you doing? How are you doing? Hey. How are you doing? Hello. All right. So. All right. Oh, go ahead. I'll let you guys finish. Okay. I got him. I got him. Okay. And you dropped your brown concrete. I also didn't realize that we had that much, uh. Water. I'll go fill up some more water bottles. <laughs> oh, I don't have the shulker box. Actually, I don't need that many. That, that's kind of crazy. Done. Alright, the shulker box is the only one left. Hold on. Nine. Hold him still. He's not going to go far. Yeah, but he's annoying. Well. <laughs> that's a different matter. That, that's different. an entirely different matter. Go. Let me grab the other glass back. Go. Okay. Sweet. Good. Good. Yep. You good? Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Did you guys already kill him? Oh no. Why no, is he drinking? No, milk? no, we did we didn't send him on to his next adventure yet. What just happened? Yep. You didn't see that happen? What happened? Nothing. He saw nothing. I saw green bubbles. How did you get green bubbles? <laughs> I didn't get green bubbles. I shot white bubbles. 
Make, and make, I got her Make head. sure you use the uh, <laughs> air freshener. Got whose head? White Bubbles head. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Fine. I won't fly over. I'll walk. Oh. Hi. Chick needs an inventor. I need to go to Ikea. That sounds like an adventure. Uh. Don't worry. Your quest will be assembled by the end of the weekend. Insert plot point A into convenience B. Dude, I love making my Ikea furniture. Don't even. Part of the fun. That's where rich people shop. What? Ikea? Mm. Um, there's actually a lot of things that I found at Ikea that are less expensive than what you get at Target. It says the same people who shop at Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, alright. Let, let me launch into uh, part of the reason for today's project to save Medic. Um, what? I can see the look as you're staring. Which way is the front? Why is the front facing here? Uh, because I was gonna make it pretty afterwards. You don't have enough space now to make it pretty without running into your other bay, your other room. It's no closer than the iron farm is. I mean, you go down, you go down the shady, the the shady back alley to to grab some potions. Weird. I don't know. Uh, we were asked by a fan, a Jude. Uh, sorry, I just did that to myself, didn't I? You did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a great song. <laughs> <laughs> About uh, how brewing stands work. So. Uh, you need a blaze rod and three cobble to make an actual brewing stand. You can you can use a brewing stand without all this extra stuff, uh, but I like to be efficient. So uh, normally, what you'll do is you'll put three one to three water bottles down here. You don't have to do fill all three, but you're wasting ingredients if you don't. So you start with three water bottles. You throw in another wart in the uh, ingredient filter. It brews down and it turns them into awkward potions which are used for almost everything uh, except weakness. Weakness is the only one that doesn't require another word. And then you just start going with ingredients because I have short term memory something or other. Can't remember what it's called. Um, I installed a resource pack from Vanilla Tweaks that gives you the brewing recipes on the actual stand so that way I could remember things like uh, for slow falling, you put in your nether wart, you put in your uh, phantom membrane, and you get slow falling. And if you want it to last longer, you put in redstone. And then if you want to make it a throwing potion, you add gunpowder after that. If you want to make it a splash potion. What this setup does, this little bit of redstone, uh, you can feed stuff into and pull stuff out of a brewing stand with uh, hoppers. So I've got into the top three hoppers and three dispensers facing in with ingredients. The very top hopper has the nether wart. And the way the way the system's set up is you gotta you gotta put a uh, starter nether wart in each of these. So we'll get all these uh, prepped and ready. Oh, I almost forgot. You also need uh, blaze powder to power it. One bit of blaze powder will fill up that uh, heating element, I guess. And that will slowly degrade as you brew more and more potions. So a blaze powder will go a long ways. 
but eventually I will stock that up so it's a full stack of blaze powder because I like keeping stuff in stock. Um, we've got a little filter here. So this comparator is reading a signal from this hopper. We got some random items, a stack of 19 and three more. And that's going to power just enough to get one redstone power off of this. When an item falls in there, that's going to bring that up from one to two, which is going to power that bit of wool, which will turn off that torch, which will unpower this guy right here, and power the block behind this guy underneath the brewing stand. So the brewing stand will be locked from pulling anything through, and the water bottles will be allowed to go into the brewing stand. And uh, by putting a button on the middle dispenser, when you push the button, it powers the middle dispenser, which powers the top and bottom ones as well. So they'll each shoot into that hopper train the items. So we've got our nether wart, which starts the potion. Then it gets the phantom membrane. Then it gets the redstone. And then another nether wart is placed in there, ready to go. So, I pop that. Oop. Uh, and things break. Huh. That's not how that was supposed to go. What went wrong? No, 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 no. What did I do wrong there? And where did the, uh... Where did the redstone go? Oh, there's the redstone. Hmm. Maybe it wasn't a dispenser. Maybe it was a dropper. The sworn that was supposed to be. Could have sworn that was supposed to be a dispenser. Easy way to find out. Let's run back to the nether and check. I just built the... I, well, I say just built those. I built them way earlier last season. Working off of the screenshots from... Oh, a lag. Uh... Working off the screenshots from uh, the Season Zero that I built using a video tutorial that I can no longer find the link to. My deepest apologies. That was before I started keeping better tabs on that kind of thing. Alright, let's go in here. Let's double check. Oh! That is supposed to be a dropper, not a dispenser. Huh. Oops. Well then, let me go fix that real quick. Anyway, when you push the button, the the droppers will drop the items <laughs> in t in order, and uh, and then it works. Oop. Oh, oh, that was almost awesome. Almost. Oh, and we have a ton of glass bottles because a witch farm was built early on, and that is a great source of glass bottles. We get a lot of bottles of water from the Piglin Trading Hall now, but if you're early enough game that you don't have those handy, you can use glass blocks to make water bottles and then fill them at any water source like I did there. Uh, matter of fact, I'll probably put a water source here now that I'm thinking of it. So that way there'll always be one handy. Um, but first... I need to wait for... Uh, it's almost time to sleep. Oh. I got those guys. 
is there? Oh, almost. Hang on. Nap time. Coffee break. I should see if there's more coffee left. No, I shouldn't. It's 8.30. Alright, let me get my placeholders back under there real quick so this goes easier. Let me break these guys. Let's pick up all the stuff before it magically disappears. Dispenser. Did it uh fall in? Yep. that too. Alright. Ah, newish. Two. Three. There we go. One. Two, three. You gotta make sure that they are pointing towards the hoppers for this to work. And Vanilla Tweaks has the data pack that we're using to put arrows on the sides so you know where these things are pointing. Because in the vanilla game, that is something of a pain. I, I really wish that they would put directional arrows on these things as a part of the game itself. That that would just be that would be a kindness. A kindness that we could all appreciate. Let's try this again, shall we? Oh, I've already got an awkward potion. Well, isn't that awkward? Oh, that's right. That's not how that's designed to work. All right. I'll do something with those later. All right. One more time, shall we? I need... A starter nether wart. There we go. So we got our starter nether wart. We've got our phantom membrane. We've got our redstone dust and our nether wart. So we push that button. The water bottles get dispensed. The nether wart brews down and they become awkward potions. Not because I mistakenly built this. That's not awkward at all. And then the phantom membrane comes through and because we still have an item in here, it's locked so the potions don't get uh, dispensed yet, or not dispensed, but pulled by the hopper underneath. Our phantom membrane is brewing in. And there we go. Now we got slow falling and we added the redstone to increase the duration. So if you look that slow falling a, m a minute 30. And then 
Oh, I'll get, I'll get back to the lighthouse. I started with that, and I'll probably finish there. And that redstone's going to bro through, and now we got slow falling four minutes. And then the nether wart from that last topper right up there gets ready to start the next set. And then once that nether wart drops in, there's no longer an item filling here, which means the power goes from two to one, locking that hopper and unlocking that hopper. Here, I'll do it again from the other side, this time with the glowstone dust and the glistening melon to make some health potions. So you see that once we go here, because we've got an item in here, this is giving off power two, one, depowers that, which unlocks this and powers that block, locking the hopper underneath. Gonna keep doing its thing. Glistening melon means that we're going to get health potions. Incidentally, if you take a fermented spider eye and put it in a burning stand that has health potions in there, it's going to make a harm potion. Uh, which is really useful if somebody makes a massive chicken brewing farm, or, or a chicken breeder, but kind of forgets the, the mechanism to kill them if they get too populous. And then you get to lag everything out with all the XP generated. That might have been before we had seasons. And there we go. Instant health too. So yes, you can do all this with just a regular brewing stand by putting in each ingredient as it reaches a step. So if I wanted to, uh, let me grab a redstone dust and a phantom membrane. What, with the fermented spider eye? Uh, it used to be easier to make the Famorenta Spider Eyes, too. But like, if you wanted to, you could actually come to a regular brewing stand like this. Uh, you put in the nether wart, the water bottles turn to awkward potions, you throw in your phantom membrane, and then, you know, walk away and do stuff. Um... Yeah, somebody somebody made a really nice chicken farm that that had no way to you know take care of the chickens because we need to cook chicken or raw chicken to cook, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, I heard no complaining at the time. Yeah, no, because that was the best we had at the time. So we got a potion of slow falling. You can leave it there until you finally get around to remembering to come back through and throw in the redstone dust, and then that'll get a uh, that'll get upgraded too. Uh, so you can do all all the potion brewing with just the stand. I I really like putting together the uh, automatic brewers because I'm lazy and I like to just push a button and go about my business and then get massive amounts of uh, potions. And eventually we'll we'll fill this up with water bottles. Uh, matter of fact. <laughs> Since I'm going to go AFK at the gold farm for a little bit to get gold to make the glistening melons that are going to go in this dispenser here, um, I'll probably end up with a lot of gold that I can also trade with the piglins for water bottles and, uh, and take care of things there too. Droppers, hoppers, vests. Oh, that's where. I, okay, I forgot I had those there. We were talking about a short-term memory, something or other, weren't we? I don't remember. Hi, Java. I know. You're mad you're not getting attention. I still need to get set up a Java cam. All right, so we got two of those set up. One's going to brew slow falling potions. The other is going to brew instant health. Uh, 
What other potions do we need? Uh, do we want strength potions? Fire resist potions? Oh, uh, we probably ought to have some water breathing. Actually, oh, uh, I, I might have to redo some of the, uh, No, the, 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 the pufferfish should get caught by the overflow at the guardian farm. Do we have a bunch of uh, pufferfish? There's a lot of different potions that you can brew. Um, I struggle to remember a great many of them. All right, since that would be... Duration. That means we need glowstone. I'm gonna have to spend some time. Uh, gonna have to spend a lot of time trading with uh, some of the villagers, the village people, so we can fill it up with uh, redstone and glowstone. Yeah, we'll set up a water breathing on this side. So that means we're gonna get a puffer fish. because each one of these represents a different type of potion. So, Nether Wart, Blaze Powder gets you a Strength Potion, Nether Wart, then Magma Cream gets you Fire Resistance, Nether Wart, and a Gas Tear gets you Regen, Nether Wart, and a Puffer Fish gets you Water Breathing. And since I want to increase the... Oh, is Water Breathing a, a, a time or... There, there's no water breathing too, is there? That means I need to grab redstone, not glowstone. So we got that, we got that, we got that. One way to find out. Um, oh, the water breathing? Yeah, that'd, that'd be kind of nice to have. The, uh, the Nether Wart and Phantom Membrane gets you slow falling. Nether Wart and a Turtle Helmet gets you Potion of the Turtle Master, which is useful for a lot of different things. Um, Nether Wart and Sugar gets you a Speed Potion. Nether Wart and a Rabbit's Foot gets you a Jump Boost. Nether Wart and a Spider's Eye gets you a Poison then we got the Nether Wart and the Glistening Melon, which gets you health. Nether Wart and Golden Carrots gets you night vision. And Nether Wart and the Fermented Spider Eye... I don't remember what that one is. Is it a weakness potion? No, it's not a weakness potion. It's something else. Something I'm sure I'll remember as soon as we go off the air. Yep, there we go. Eight minute potions of water breathing. And that's ready to go. All right, so we just need to figure out which one we want in that fourth one. Oh, we should probably have night vision in that one. Yeah, we should have night vision in yeah. that one. Night vision's a good one. Yeah. Uh, no, it won't blow, it just won't mix. So you'll have the ingredient just sitting there clogging up the, clogging it up. There is, if I were rest, where would I put? Wait, I got a whole bunch of golden carrots somewhere. Where did I put, did I put them in my lunchbox? They're probably in my lunchbox. Yeah, there we go. Is uh, here's our other potions of slow fall. Night vision is going to be a duration, so that means we're going to need more redstone. I can grab that out of my redstone box in a minute. We'll get our 
Build the carrots. Some more trading for redstone, trading for glowstone, and AFK for some gold. Oh, and we can trade for the golden carrots, so we can get those from the villagers in the melon pumpkin farm. They'll trade you emeralds for golden carrots. So that won't be too bad. The guys in the bottom floor of the church, the clerics in there, they'll trade for redstone dust. Um, what we're missing is a nether wart farm, so I might I might have to build a small nether wart farm farm behind the potion brewing station. Yeah, yeah. There we go. I finished the project and realized I needed to start another. Hey, look at that! It's a finished project. And look, Arcadius. There's no shulker boxes around here. Ta-da! Mm -hmm. No, it's a finished project. It is a finished project. I did my part. Oh, who'd you hire to do the roof? Hmm? The building. What does golden carrots go? Golden carrots are, are an excellent source of food uh, in the game. Honestly, if the pork chop farm wasn't quite so efficient, I, I, I'd, I'd probably use the. I'd probably still be using the golden carrots. The golden carrots are food, unless you use them in potion. Yep, they really are. And these guys will trade them very readily. Three emeralds for three golden carrots. Oh, that's right. Why? Why am I crafting? Why am I crafting glisten melon? I forgot they they trade that stuff. <laughs> why am I doing hard work? I could be lazy. Hang on, guys. We'll, we'll, we'll be spending more time off camera. Uh, I need golden carrots and glistening melons. And lots of them. So I can fill this guy up. Uh, I Actually, I guess the only thing left I really need to do is put some signs somewhere that, that say what should be in each one. Uh, hmm. I guess, it, yeah, everything in here needs uh, redstone except for that one. All right. Since I actually finished the project, and I know if I start something else, it's it it, it it'll be uh. Mm, mm -mm. <laughs> yeah. No. Let, let's not start anything else. Cause it's close enough to quitting time. So there's the shell of the lighthouse. Uh, off camera, I'm gonna slim the top a little bit. Uh, that's taller than the original design called for because I wanted to mob proof the top. I really didn't like the idea of creepers spawning up there and falling on me as I was walking around the lighthouse. Uh, so I put a bunch of slabs and stairs and walls and things up on the top to block spawns and it made it made the dome a little bit taller than it should be. So I'll, I'll take the stuff that I added off take the top layer off the original design and then uh, put the stairs and walls and slabs back on so that way it still has that dome feel but it's a little shorter. I still haven't decided if I'm going to make it a decorative build and uh, actually here's why I needed those potions of slow falling. So that way I could glide a little bit slower and take a look at projects like this. Let me uh there we go. So, I'm tempted to put a bunch of sea lanterns behind the glass so we get the light from the lighthouse and put a villager breeder in there and try a different uh, design than the one that we have in the trading hall currently. Uh, and maybe set this one up so that way you push a button and it dispenses enough carrots for them to... Uh, breed a villager and then uh, 
and that way you can control how many you get. The problem is, is that when we need when we need one, we rarely only need one. We seem to need four or five. Um, so my other thought is to put maybe uh, one of the farmer dudes up top there, and then when he produces enough produce, have it dispensed down into the villager breeder, and then have them fall to a collection area down below. And then uh, just make sure that if more than a certain number collect, uh, they they the uh, the population is managed. Let's phrase it that way: the population is managed. I also need to build a little shed off the front there. I'd like to have a little uh, little something there. And then I think if I do if I do that if I do the villager breeder in there and all that just to test out some new designs. Um, oh, and the stone the buttons are also to prevent mob spawning. Uh, then I want to see how many how many different farms I can pack in there. Like maybe get a a, a stack of bamboo, a stack of sugar cane, a stack of kelp, or maybe it, oh you know what I might just make this whole thing a kelp farm. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. That, that, that's part of why it would, didn't work on this today, is because I'm not entirely sure what exactly I want to build with it. Once I figure that out, then I'll be able to get cracking on that. Um, it's also nighttime. Here I am floating around, not a care in the world. Except for the part where uh, mobs be spawning. Am I sleeping in fly mode? Yeah, I am sleeping in fly mode. A little bit of time left on my uh, slow fall. So there we go. I came out pretty good, except the dome is a little tall. I might, uh, or the, the glass part's a little tall, even for the building. I, or maybe that's just me. But that is what the plots modeler. Um, I I know I left a link in the description of the last video. Uh, that's what the plots modeler had for the dome design. But that that seems a little tall to me. I might knock that down a couple of blocks, depending on how much space I need for uh, for the crop farm and the villager breeder. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I could probably fit one in the dome. Actually, I might leave the dome as tall as it is and just hollow out the unnecessary blocks to uh, to have more space for the... Yeah, I notice it's quiet all of a sudden, but I'm, I'm also rambling. Because uh, this stuff... That was almost bad. Oh, what did I what did I hit on? I don't know. All right, let me tuck myself somewhere safe. And uh, preemptively fill up my inventory of Kurt pranks. <laughs> and this is where I say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. Uh, every Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern, I stream off from the Coffee Cross server. We try to get as much of the server together as we can because it is a lot of fun. I also stream on Fridays, 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern. Normally, it's games revisited. This coming Friday, it may be a bonus Coffee Craft stream. It may be some Battlefield. Just depends on both schedule and whether I've got the next game lined up or not. Because it's a toss-up between the original plan of playing the first Trine game or spring in the 50 bucks to pick up Kingdom Hearts, which just had its PC port. And that's a game that I've been dying to play, but I was never a PlayStation guy. Uh, last console I owned was a Super Nintendo. Yes, I'm old. Thank you for that. Um... So we'll 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 see how that goes. Let it, and uh, <laughs> if you follow along, you'll always know when I go live, and you'll see in the announcement. At least I think you see in the announcement what I'm playing. 
I'm pretty sure you see in the announcement what I'm playing. Um, also, the Coffee Craft live stream replays go up on uh, my YouTube channel. There's a link in the description below. Unless you're watching this later on YouTube, then congratulations. You found it. And, uh, all right. With all that said and done, I am going to hit the title screen. Please stick along with me just long enough to raid Beast Lord. He is a good friend of the channel. I love him dearly. Uh, although, I try to keep my language family friendly. That doesn't always, that doesn't always the same for us. So, uh, he appears to be playing Outriders. So, let, I'm not familiar with that game. Let, let's go, uh, let's go say hello and, uh, and see see what Outri Outriders is. Hang tight. <laughs> 